hello guys welcome back to another part of call java tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to create user defined exceptions in java so here i am going to explain how to create user defined exception in java with a complete working example so here i am going to create a program that contain a user defined exception called invalid age exception so whenever a user enter an invalid age this program create a user defined exception so here i'm going to create a class called class invalid age exception here i just create a class called invalid age exception and make this class as a subclass of exception class so extends exception okay now here I, I, I create another class called class exception test and here is the main class public class exception demo that must contain the main method so public static void main string args okay so here there are three classes first one is an invalid age exception class and second one is an exception test class and third one is the public class called exception demo so here i am going to create a method here so public void process and that access that contain an argument called int age and in this method I am going to validate the age using an if loop if value of the variable age greater than 110 that means if user enter an age greater than 110 <coughs> here in this situation we are going to generate that user defined exception so here I am going to throw that exception throw new invalid age exception so here I just throw that exception called throw new invalid age exception <coughs> okay so now I am going to create a constructor on the exception class that, that means user defined exception class so here is the constructor public public invalid age exception here is the constructor of that class and here I am just invoke the super class method super I just pass an exception message here invalid invalid age exception try a valid age <coughs> okay so whenever this exception is generated you can see this is actually a creation this is actually an object creation so whenever this statement is secured that constructor will invoke and that will call the superclass method and this string is actually passed to that exception class okay uh, now I am going to create an object of this class and using that object I am going to invoke this method called process so on the main class so I'm going to plan I'm going to plan access the age from the user through the comma line argument so here I'm going to create an int integer value age and age is equal to 
integer dot parse int LGS of zero. So here I just uh, access the value from user through the comma line argument. And I'm going to create an object of this class called exception test. So exception test test is equal to new exception test. Okay, and using that object, I'm going to invoke that method called the process. And definitely that method that method contain an argument called age. So here I'm going to invoke that method using this object test dot uh, process and pass this argument as age age. Okay. So now we completed our coding, and if the user enter a valid age, then that will show a message. process success okay now I am going to uh, so in this program there are three classes first one is a user defined exception class called invalid age exception that extend the exception class and in that class we create a constructor that pass a string to the parent class method using the super keyword and the second class uh, we create a method that actually generate an exception called invalid age exception we throw this and throw that exception here and on the main class we just create an object of that uh, second class and using that object we just invoke that method so one more thing we need to throw that exception here throws invalid age exception so whenever this method throw, throws that exception that is quoted on the main method so here also we are not uh, we just uh, we are not handling that method that exception here so uh, main method also throws that exception to the JVM throws invalid age exception so now that exception is uh, coded on JVM and JVM handle that exception. So here I'm going to save this program, save us. I'm going to save it in D drive. In D drive there is a folder called the programs and name of that public class is exception demo. Exception demo dot Java. And save us uh, Java source file and save it. Now I'm going to compile the program. So plus F6. So Java C exception demo dot Java. Now we just compile the program. Okay. Now there is no errors or errors present on this program now we can run the program so again I plus F6 now I'm going to run the program so Java exception demo I provide an invalid age of 120 is that invalid age so now we are going to run it now you can see that this exception is actually coded on the JVM and you can see uh, exception in third domain and that is invalid age exception invalid age exception try a valid age actually this is uh, printed by the JVM and now that exception is handled by JVM uh, so you can it's also possible to handle the exception using a try catch block here so here I'm going I'm not cross this to the 
uh, JVM here I'm use here I'm going to handle it using a try catch block so here I'm going to place the throw statement in a try catch block try try catch name of the exception is invalid each exception okay just print out that object system dot out dot print to ln just print out that object okay now again I save it and now I'm going to compile it again Java C exception demo dot Java now the program is successfully compiled and now I'm going to run it Java exception demo with an invalid age of 130 okay now you can see that now the exception is handled in the program itself and invalid age exception and it is uh, this is actually this message is actually printed from the object of that exception class guys this is how we using how we create user defined exception in Java uh, you will get the complete source code from my blog my blog URL is given under the description of this video please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial